I think sometimes we conflate two things. One is um, population growth, right, which really took off, you know, let's say in the late 1700s. And there are a bunch of things like the public health uh, revolution, medicine, um, agricultural revolutions that made calories more available to eat, made it less likely that you were just going to die. Um, and so we started seeing population upticks then, but the human footprint wasn't actually that big then. You then later in the 1800s, you had this interesting phase shift, industrialization, if you will, but you had the physical chemistry revolution, where suddenly, you know, we are creating uh, these hard metals and toxins that were useful industrially, but we started in, in small ways, kind of polluting the planet with that. And then, it, you know, starting with World War II and after that, that the, the use of all those types of uh, um, that science and technology really burdened the planet quickly. Um, uh, so, you know, the, the consequences were, first of all, we made it so that humans were more likely to live, which I think is great. I think, I think we call that progress, right? Um, you're not going to die in childbirth. Your, your children aren't going to die in childbirth. Uh, you're not just going to die at age 40. I think that's inherently good, but it was also the things that we brought with industrialization that helped us hasten the speed at which we deleted our planet, literally, like just chopping down entire ecosystems, paving them, um, uh, changing waterfronts to industrialized waterfronts where they used to be uh, sinks for carbon and nurseries for fish and things like that. Um, and I, I'd say we really did it without understanding what nature was, what ecology was. I always like to point out that um, neoclassical economics uh, and even Smith and Malthus, right? They started with no notion of nature. They, they predated the invention of nature as a concept. Um, so it's taken us a long time to catch up with building nature and ecological kind of awareness into the systems that dr have driven this massive industrial, um, the, this industrial kind of revolution and all the goodness that comes with it. So, I mean, there's tons of benefits associated with it that we could talk about. Um, but the costs are, are absolutely massive.